Here we want to show that the limit of 1 plus uh, 1 over x to the x as x approaches infinity, this is equal to e. And again, e is approximately um, 21.71e, 2a, 1a, 2a. So that's what e is. And so first, let y be the limit here. And then take the natural log of both sides. And recall that the, uh, we have a theorem on uh, limit of composite functions, and it allow us, allows us to do this. This is the same as the limit. of the uh, natural log, right here. And then um, this is the uh, same as we, we can move the x, the x bone and x right here, and place it in front of the um, ln. And then let's rewrite this, like this. Dividing by 1 over x is the same as multiplying by x. And now if we allow uh, x to approach infinity, then 1 over x will approach 0, and so we'll get ln of 1, and the natural log of 1 is 0. And then as x approaches infinity, 1 over x will also approach infinity. And so we have the indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0, and therefore we can apply L'Hopital's rule. And so L'Hopital's rule says that the um, the limit here this is the same if we take the uh, derivative of the top and derivative of the bottom so the derivative 1 over x is just negative 1 over x where and uh, so recall that if we have the uh, derivative of 1 over x this is the same as uh, x to the negative 1 1 over x is the same as x to the negative 1 and so the derivative be negative 1 times x to the negative And this is equal to negative 1. Times uh, 1 over x squared. And this is equal to negative 1 over x squared. And so the uh, and then the derivative of ln of one over uh, one plus x, we call it the derivative the derivative of ln of x is one over x. And so here instead of x we have one plus x, so it'd be one over one plus x. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the 1, uh, 1 plus 1 over x. The derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of 1 over x again is negative 1 over x squared. So the negative 1 over x squared and the negative 1 over x squared down here, these will get cancelled out. And so what's left is just the limit and this.
is the way we get 1, and then as x approaches infinity, 1 over x will be 0, and then 1 plus 0 is 1, and this is equal to 1. And so we have the colon of e is y. equal to 1. is equal to 1. We know that ln of e is 1, and therefore y is equal to e. And originally we let y be the limit of the, uh, the original limit expression here, so this is equal to e.